Hi, welcome to this week's web design video blog. Uh, we came across an interesting blog post this week by Rory Sellen Jones on BBC's Dot Life blog. He talks about the uh, steady decline of editorial contributions on Wikipedia. This is due to some users being malicious and keep changing articles and making the content uh, inaccurate essentially. Um, so Wikipedia have had to tighten their guidelines which has been putting off new users and even existing users because they're finding it harder to get their article approved. Um, he basically poses the question, has Wikipedia peaked or saturated and is it going to decline over the next coming years? Um, one thing it does say at the bottom of the article, Wikipedia did make a statement saying that they are going to redesign Wikipedia for both a usability point of view and for the users, so hopefully they're going to improve the service. Last week we did a tutorial on how to do pop-up menus in Adobe Fireworks. We had a couple of requests for this week to do a video tutorial on how to do the uh, sort of Apple-style navigation bar in Photoshop. So I'm starting out with an 800 by 200 pixel canvas with a white background. Um, so to create our sort of Apple style navigation uh, tab, which is also a navigation we uh, use on the Crea website, um, I'm going to start with the rounded rectangle tool. I've got a foreground color of uh, all the A's in the hex reference selected. I'm going to click and drag this to roughly the width of my canvas and let go. I've got a six pixel radi uh, radius corner. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do before I proceed is, um, as you can see, we've got like a, a shape uh, tool in our layer. What I want to do is merge this with a blank layer to essentially just flatten this layer. So all I'm going to do is just merge these layers so that it gets rid of the mask and just gives me a quite simple um, tab layer. First thing we're going to want to do is add the shadow and the gradient. So I'm going to go to the layer tools in layer style gradient overlay. Um, I've got the default black to white gradient selected. Um, some people you know, can do this by selecting and customising this gradient here, but the best thing to do, especially if you're using um, sort of the grey colour, is just to use the blend mode and overlay. This burns the black to white gradient in on our existing colour of uh, AAA. And I can then slide the opacity down to create the you know, effect of the gradient that I, w on a, that I wish. And obviously you can slide this back and forwards until you get just the right gradient that suits um, you know, the style of your website. So I've set mine to 50. Next we're going to do the drop shadow. Um, again, I'm going to bring the opacity of this down to about uh, 60. I'm going to do the um, angle up to 90 degrees, so it's a, a perfectly vertical shadow. Uh, distance I'm going to bring in to about 2. And the size I'm going to bring down to 3. So they're the settings for the drop shadow and that gives us, along with the gradient overlay, the effect for the background of our navigation. So let's click OK. Next we're going to do the type. Um, on my, on my background colour already I've got set, uh, I think this is uh, all the fours on the hex reference. Select the type tool. I'm going to create a type box that's roughly the width of my navigation. I've got Hypatia Sans Pro in bold at 12 pixels selected. And I'm going to type out my navigation. So just for the example, I'm just going to select this and duplicate it. Obviously, you want to type out the uh, exact navigation for your website. I've put some basic spacing in already of 10 uh, spaces, um, probably I want to adjust this, probably add another two in, in between each one just to get the uh, perfect separation on the navigation, like that. So you probably want to spend a little bit more time than me just making sure that you get the same distance between your tab uh, tabs on your navigation and also you get the right distances from the edges. So next I'm just going to select the arrow and just move this down into the centre of the tab like this. Next I want to create some nice little separators to go in between the various uh, tabs on the navigation bar. So I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to zoom right in in between the first two tabs. I'm going to select the marquee tool, start in roughly the centre of the tab and create a one pixel um, marquee going up to the top of the navigation like this. I'm going to select the black foreground colour, select the gradient tool, make sure that on my um, gradient editor, I have the uh, black to transparent selected. Click in the center and drag the gradient vertically so that you get a one pixel wide black gradient like that. Back to the arrow, I'm going to click Alt, click on it, drag it and it will duplicate the layer. I'm then going to go to Edit, 
transform, flip vertical, and then position this second duplication directly underneath the initial one. I'm then going to merge the two layers by pushing Apple and E, or you can go to it on the navigation here by going to uh, either merge down or merge link to whatever you've got selected. And then again, I'm going to duplicate this by pushing Alt and clicking and dragging it away. And I'm going to invert this by going Apple I to invert it to white. I'm going to sit that one next to the black one and then again merge the two layers like so, so that I've got one layer. Sometimes you might have to adjust the size of this so that you get it exactly to the top and to the bottom. And next, in order just to sort of um, you know, blend this in with the navigation, I'm just going to select layer and overlay and that just sort of burns it in a little bit into the background. You can play with the opacity uh, and various settings to get that to the, just the right effect that you'd like. Okay, so let's probably just set that to about 80% opacity. Next, in order to duplicate this, just again hold down Alt, click and copy the layer and obviously just making sure that you get this um, exactly in the centre between each of your navigation. All I'm doing is pushing Apple and T to transform it just to make sure that I can see that it's uh, set in the top and the bottom of the navigation. All I'm doing to duplicate it is by holding down Alt, clicking and dragging the layer. Okay, so that's the last one. Zoom out and that's the navigation almost finished. All you've got to do is get rid of the white space by going to Edit, uh, sorry, Image and Trim. And this will get rid of all of the white space on the background like so. And then all you do is go to File, Save for Web, and take this away for Fireworks or whether you want to chop it up in, in Photoshop. Uh, another good thing you can do in order to um, do the rollover state for this is to change the text on the navigation bar to white, similar to the Apple website. And then if you select the uh, original background shape and go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness, and then bring the brightness down to create a darker version for when you hover your mouse over the navigation like so. For this week's showcase, we've come across a really cool website, Red Interactive Agency. If you go to www.ff and then 40s.com, uh, which is the hex reference for Red, um, you can see they've built this quite impressive uh, Flash website. All of these little characters that are running around and flying around are people that are currently on the website. I think I'm user 139, whatever that is, and you can sort of fly around and walk around the, uh, the website. So, really impressive, definitely worth uh, checking out. If you've got any questions or comments on the tutorial from today's blog, please leave them on the YouTube channel or the blog. Uh, thanks for watching. Oh, there's a skeleton there.